Good morning YouTube. In today's video I'm going to be discussing the best ways that you can prepare your computer so that you'll be able to play RuneScape at the best possible experience with the least possible risk of getting your account hacked or any other issues like that. So we're going to start off with saying most important thing in computer security is and before you say have an antivirus software or strong passwords, the most important thing is to keep all of your software up to date. The majority of hacks tend to occur because someone has like a version of Java or a version of Flash, which is really out of date. So you want to make a habit of going to these uh, developers' websites at least once a month and getting the latest version of each. So, I, I mean, like, and get updates for all of your software as well. So, one of the easiest ways to do this is with, uh, with the uh, Windows updates, because um, you want to make sure that Windows updates are on. So, the way you do this is you go to Start and then Settings, and then you have your computer uh, check for updates automatically. So available updates will be downloaded and installed automatically. So we're just going to check for updates just to see. Um, generally there's no updates when you do this because your computer generally does it by itself. But I'm just showing you for the point of this video. So this is probably the most important thing you can do to make sure your computer runs correctly. See your computer is up to date. Now I'm going to go over down here I have antivirus software, I have Kaspersky Internet Security. To be honest, most computer security experts recommend you don't really need antivirus software. The reason for this is that antivirus software dis or finds and destroys viruses that are already known. So like some of them do have something called a heuristic scan and Kaspersky also has this which tries to detect viruses that have never been found before but again as you can imagine that's kind of a little bit harder to do so I just kind of have Kaspersky in case you know I click on like a link in a YouTube video and it takes me to a spam website or more often than not like what happens is if I'm watching like a stream on twitch.tv and someone posts a link and I click on it sometimes Kaspersky blocks that link because they say it's like a site that's going to steal a password. That's one of the main advantages. I've never found a virus on my computer with Kaspersky. The main thing I have it there for is basically to see sort of watch websites and make sure everything's okay. The next thing I want to talk about is Glitter Utilities. Now I have the pro version of Glitter Utilities but the free version is basically identical to the pro version. There's a little bit more that the pro version can do and they'll try to get you to buy the pro version but honestly you really don't need the pro version. So you know it's a really really good thing. The main things it's good for is the registry cleaner, uh, shortcut fixer, and all that stuff. Then you just click scan for issues. Mine will repair the issues automatically because it's the pro version but you know it is, I think it's like 10 to $20 a year, so it's, it's not terribly expensive either. There are scam versions of this sort of uh, software out there. Avoid those at all costs. What they'll do is they'll install stuff on your computer that's really hard to uninstall. Okay, Glitter Utilities. And you can find that by a simple Google search. There's no uh, just do a Google search, that way you're not going to get scammed into installing something bad. Okay, there's a bunch of useful tools on Glitter Utilities. One is the R Windows Registry uh, Defragment. I try to run that at least once a month. Basically, it cleans up your Windows Registry, which is sort of like the backbone of your computer uh, software, and it makes it run a little bit faster, which in turn will make your game run faster. Um, malware doesn't matter because I have Kaspersky. Um, you know, privacy, you know, you can play around that, with that if you want. Um, 
this stuff generally doesn't matter. One useful thing is startup items uh, to make your computer turn on faster. The main thing that is really useful and makes your computer go a lot better is, well, firstly, uh, check for updates and programs. That's kind of what I was talking about earlier. But the defragment right here. So you're going to want to have, um, I'm going to pull this down so you can see it. Uh, so these are my two hard drives. This is the one with my operating system on it, and this is the one with, you know, just random pictures and stuff. So I'm going to defragment my local drive. So I'm going to click defrag. Okay, all those little red squares are cluttered up space on my hard drive. This is why you run defragment once a month. A while ago, before I was doing this regularly, almost all this was red, which is why my computer would run really slowly. Also, you can see how much free space is on your hard drive, which is really useful because if there is like one megabyte of free space, your computer is going to run really slowly. Anyways, I hope this video was helpful to you. If you liked it, please do leave a like, uh, subscribe to my YouTube channel, and I will see you all in my next video.